All right, so I'm gonna go put a mailbox on a post that's in front of our property. I gotta go make chicken soup out of chicken shit. The mailbox post is in a ditch for rainwater. There's water in it, so I can't dig a hole and pour concrete in there. So I'm gonna use the existing post that's not level and uh, yeah, we're gonna see how it goes. So, today's vlog is me building a mailbox. <clears throat> Backing up to the work hat in my work truck. <laughs> uh, leave the car running. Get some, get some tunes going. Oh, I probably can't for YouTube, huh? So, that's the post. That's the ditch that's filled with water. So I gotta build a, I gotta come out and then I'm gonna gusset it. So I've already had to abort. <laughs> I ain't got a Sharpie or a pencil or nothing. So I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna be able to make this thing pretty to begin with, let alone without marking tools so we gotta go back to the house and yeah check out my sweet driveway this is one of today's chores i think we're gonna plant some more plants i'm gonna try to finish cutting up that tree I gotta figure out my unemployment while I'm looking for work out here. Oregon is being a pain in the balls, I'm trying to verify my local union that I'm with. Hey, we got ducks in the yard and geese. Let's go find writing utensils. Nothing there. All the pins are always in the top box. And I still haven't moved any of this shit into the garage. I gotta get my garage dialed in. The mother load. The Kennedy top box always has the good stuff. <laughs> Hot damn. Look at that. Got myself a pencil, I'll take two Sharpies, and a nice Bic, in case I gotta do some mathematics. Kennedy toolboxes are the only way to roll.
that's the card I was dealt that post right there um, so we'll come back to it and make it better this uh, this spring when that ditch isn't all filled up I could drill down in there and cement a fucking post in the ground and yeah but for now this is sweet now I can finally get all you guys' fan mail I know I've been missing it <laughs> Dog. Look at that, you guys. Almost able to see the other side of this pasture. Kyle has been chainsawing this tree, bringing him some more water. So stay hydrated, everyone. Wow. Had to upgrade to a regular chainsaw, not electric. Hey there, working man. Good. Working woman, look at you. You're covered uh -huh. in oh, shit. Here's your water. Thank you. Hi, people. Looks good. Mm -hmm. Can evil. This pasture over here, this is a really cool spot. We're gonna clean that up later. So, let me have a Justin Rhodes moment. How does he do it? And he's all like fired up, like it's just so great. Um, <laughs> I was thinking with like one fallen tree, hopefully this time next year, this tree will heat our whole house instead of paying the gas company $1,200 to fill our propane tank. And then all this, all the branches will turn into mulch. Mm -hmm. And then when we get some chickens or we'll pigs need, or pigs, we can use this as bedding and then it'll just turn this into compost. So one fallen tree, then like, I don't know, compost, maybe a year or two. Yeah. But I mean, this tree was just like gifted to us by nature. Like it fell and that's a shit ton of firewood if I ever seen it. And uh, yeah, we got another one to do also over there and then we'll just start working our way through. Plus, the dogs love sticks. Yeah, that's, a, that's just a little bit of what we've already been mulching and chopping down. Yeah. Oh, look at that house. Beautiful. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs>